at the Sogakove Park for match day 8 of the Ghana Premier League. Half-time score, Wafa 0, Asante Kotoko 0. Not too sure about that technique in executing that free kick in the last embers of the game by Ate Yusifu. There was a tap on by Mac Daniel, but his delivery went wayward. Last opportunity for the first half, ending Wafa 0, Kotoko 0. So Kotoko and Wafa squaring it up for match the 8 of the 2019-2020 Ghana Premier League at the Sugakube Park. A venue Kotoko have not won before. Wafa showing any indication that here could be difficult territory. So forcing Namakwa, forcing Kwame Ba with this save in the early stages of the game. He just couldn't have underrated this one. Yeah, he just did right step of his line and make sure he had enough on it. Again, Kunedu's header dealt to by Adum and finally by Kevin Andor. And look at this opportunity. You credit Ajimambedi for closing in on Augustin Boache yeah. without giving him that space to even think and yeah. so know what to do. He almost went in close to him but realized that he didn't have to be so tight so he gave him space and then just guided him onto the bar line. So Asan Sikotoko with Emmanuel Jamefield on the far line. That cross looking for Kinsley Osei wasn't going to come with Atto Bilson. Always closing in on the first one but it was a feeble cross from Jamefield. A feeble one, he could have done better. I thought he could have opened himself up, take the ball on his right foot, and maybe force a shot from a save or an attempt. So, this was that opportunity from Augustin Boachi. Eric Asimeni obviously should have been the man that Augustin could have picked up for this goal. Certainly, he made that run. Take a look at that touch for the shots. How about that for a cross? And on the tap in for Eric Asimeni is that he chose the wrong option. Huge chance blown. Asan Tukotoko equally created two or three of their own, but this one from Kinsley Osefa was never going to yield any results. Again, there was this one too between Ata and then Ando, but Ando's cross just feeble and not quality enough to pose any problems for Prince Arthur Belson. It's been a story for Ando this afternoon. He's been poor in that wide area. Anytime he get, gets forward, he's not able to get decent enough grip on the ball for a cross or for a cutback. So, Asante Kotoko, they left Wafa asking so many questions of their defense, and this was from Daniel Owusu, the young striker with a feeble drive. They certainly couldn't beat the inform Kwame Ball, like you rightly said. It wasn't going to trouble him, but credit to him for cutting that and creating the, I mean, opportunity or the space for the shots. The shot comes through, but in the end, it's a feeble one. The wobbling through to the hands of the goalkeeper. So this final free kick before the half time wasn't properly executed. Not too sure whether it was rehearsed from the training grounds after you see frustrated by his own effort. So referee Frederick Samina bringing proceedings to an end for the first half here in Sogakope is Wafa 0, Kotoko 0. Wafa has 55% of the ball possession against Kotoko 45. Two shots on goal from Wafa. Three corners for Kotoko, four for Wafa, nine fouls committed by Kotoko and seven by Wafa. Who will be ruining the missed opportunities that came their way. At the end of this game here in Sogako, per match the eighth of the 2019-2020 Ghana Premier League is Wafa zero, Kotoko zero. Second half began with Wafa. Very eager to start off from where they left off, but it was Kotoko who decided to make early inroads into enemy territory, and Kevin Ando did want to go past his marker, but this tackle from Fosuna Mankwa left Ando down. He appealed for a penalty, yeah. but he still wouldn't get it. It's that, that slight contact he got on the ball that makes it nothing like a foul. See, right there, get something on that ball. So Fosuna Mankwa, he was a constant threat for Asante Kotoko, but his final deliveries always letting him down. He created space, went past two markers, but his shot was always drifting wide. I was going to go wide in there. I thought he was going to go with the instep. In went with the outer here. 
another shocking defending by Habib. Poor judgment of the ball. So this back heel from Asemeni found Prosper, whose shot went in too early, but indeed it didn't really have the power and the direction it needed to beat Kwame Bar. Kotoko kept probing, and here is Opoku. That was close. Emmanuel Jemfi combining so well with Atta and the likes, but there never were any major threats. Dansu came in, and as early as the first minute of his inclusion, he showed glimpses of what to be expected of him. Yeah, he showed glimpses, and I was surprised that his teammate didn't find him the more because he's such a good footballer. Anytime he drifts into that area, he's capable of manufacturing or generating something special. A few occasions he did that, he almost troubled Kotoko. Asante Kotoko, they had decent chances of them, and here, JP sets up Opoku Mensa, just unlucky with a brilliant save from Atta Bilson. Yeah. This was always heading to the back of the net. Yes, yeah, it, it was heading to the back of the net, but the goalkeeper was in a good position, so at full stretch, got, got something on that ball to force it out. So, Asante Kotoko have failed to win here in Sogakope again, after 90 minutes of grilling football action, it's Wafa 0, Kotoko 0. 53% of ball possession for Wafa and 47 for Kotoko. One yellow card apiece, 16 fouls committed by Wafa and 22 by Kotoko. So, 90 minutes is 0-0 between Wafa and Kotoko.